Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of ectopic pregnancy. A young married female patient came with amenorrhea for more than two and a half months. She had also given the history of lower abdominal pain more on the left side for one day. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here on transverse section, you can see the endometrium appears thickened within the uterus. And here on the left adnexa, you can see a cystic area that is a gestational sac and inside that you can see an embryo. I can't see any cardiac pulsation within. Leftover, it could not be separately visualized. So this was a case of ectopic pregnancy. There was no collection at the pelvic region, which indicates that the sac has not already got ruptured. Here's the longitudinal section of the uterus. You can see the thickened endometrium. And here you can see an anechoic area this anechoic area resembles the serogestational sac, which is common in ectopic pregnancy. So here's the picture. You can see the transverse section of the uterus. This is the right ovary. And on the left, you can see the cystic area, that is the gestational sac. And here you can see a hypoechoic area, which should be the embryo. We have taken the measurement of the cystic lesion, that is 32 into 21 millimeter. Here we have measured the crown arm length of the embryo, which was 15 mm, corresponds to 8 weeks and 1 day gestation. However, no cardiac pulsation could be detected. For further evaluation, we have taken the 3D ultrasound of the lesion and you can see this is the gestational sac and inside that this solid part is the embryo. So, in summary, a well-defined oval gestational sac with an embryo without detectable cardiac pulsation is seen at the left adnexal region. Crown arm length measures about 15 mm corresponding 8 weeks and 1 day of gestation. The left ovary could not be separately visualized. The uterine endometrium is thickened with a pseudo-gestational sac. There was no peritoneal collection. So the diagnosis is left adnexal ectopic pregnancy. Now the take home message. Pseudo-gestational sac is a very common finding in ectopic pregnancy, making confusion. Remember that pseudo sac usually lies centrally, but the true gestational sac lies on the lateral surface. We know that the blastocyst implants not at the center but at the endometrium so it lies slightly laterally. Sometimes on transverse section you can understand it quite better. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.